Welcome. This is Mission Control at the NASA Johnson Space Center in Houston, and this is the Expedition 29 ISS update for today, Monday, October 24th. The Orbit 2 team is on duty here in the International Space Station Flight Control Room. It's being led today with Flight Director Jerry Jason and Spacecraft Communicator, also known as CAPCOM, astronaut Shannon Lucid. After two days off uh, to give the Expedition 29 crew members a respite from their busy schedule, they are back today packing trash into that Progress 42 vehicle, readying it to undock on Saturday. Progress 45 will launch on Sunday. Commander Fossum, uh, Mike Fossum, and his crew members, Satoshi Furukawa and Sergei Volkov, will be joined by three new crew members on November 16th. Anton Shakaplarov, Anatoly Ivanishin, and U.S. astronaut Dan Burbank are set to launch on November 13th on the Soyuz 28, docking with the station on November 15th. Fossum, Furukawa, and Volkov ret will return to Earth on November 22nd. Fossum will turn the command over to Burbank at that point, and the crew becomes the Expedition 30. They will work uh, as a three-person crew for 36 days, and the remainder of the Expedition 30 crew, NASA's Don Pettit, Russian uh, Ole Kon Kononiko, and uh, Europe's Andre Kupers will launch to the station aboard the Soyuz 29 spacecraft on or about December 26th and dock with the station two days later. In other activities today, the Russian flight controllers will also conduct a routine check out of the KERS automated rendezvous system for both the passive side of that VESDA service module and the active side on the Progress 42 supply ship. This is part of the routine check of that vehicle prior to the undocking. Fossum today will also conduct research on the binary colloidal uh, alloy test known as the BCAT experiment, while Furukawa continues maintenance on that gradient, uh, gradient heating facility in the Kabo module. Fossum is working on the first segment of the BCAT-6, which is the collodial um, disk experiment test. It tests the organization of molecular constituents in a new type of liquid crystal that is capable of rotating the polarization of light. These experiments relate to the applications in the design of nanomaterials and new leading edge materials designed with molecular precision at the nanoscale. Bilary colloid alloy test experiments lay the foundation for nanotechnology and nanomechanical systems in space. So how does that apply on Earth? Well, through direct application, though direct applications are not yet um, driven in the research, uh, growth of these ordered collodial phases has attracted interest in such areas as ceramics, composites, and optical fibers. Uh, today, uh, Expedition 29 and 30, back at the uh, uh, Garrigan Cosmonaut Training Center in Star City, Russia, Burbank, Shakaplarov, and Ivanishin uh, conducted a news conference earlier today, and they are wrapping up their tour of Red Square in Moscow, where they laid flowers to commemor uh, commemorative flowers at the Kremlin Wall. The three crew members will fly to the ba uh, Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan Monday for final preparations for their launch to the station on the Soyuz uh, TMA-22 spacecraft on November 14th. That's November 13th on U.S. time. Also on tap today, the three crew members are meeting over tea with the head of the Russian Federal Space Agency, Vladimir Pavakin. For more information on the uh, space station, Expedition 29, and the upcoming launch of the Progress 45 and the Soyuz that will carry the remainder of the Expedition 29 crew, please check us out on www.nasa.gov forward slash station or follow us on Twitter at NASA underscore Johnson. This is Mission Control Houston.